This is Corey Smith with MyFirstDrone.com and today we're going to be assembling the mounting bracket that's used for attaching the FPV monitor onto the Phantom 2 controller. Then after that, we'll be setting it up to work with the video transmitter that's on the Phantom 2 so that you can have a fully working FPV system. So the first step is to assemble the FPV mounting bracket. Now I won't go into detail on how to put this bracket together since honestly none of the pieces really have real names associated with them. But basically there's four screws and each is a different size so you'll need a 1.5 millimeter, 2 millimeter, 2.5 millimeter, and a 3 millimeter allen key or hex wrench. In general you should be able to look at the video and see how I'm putting it together but just make sure that you don't over tighten the screws or else you'll strip them out. If you're really worried about them coming loose then you can just use some Loctite and that'll make them stay in there forever. After you're done assembling the bracket then you can place it onto the Phantom 2 transmitter and use the remaining screw and washer to attach it to the next strap mount. Depending on what transmitter you're using, the washer may fit into the bracket or it may stick out, but the most important thing is that it's secure. Once the bracket is mounted, you can then mount the FPV monitor using the 1 4 inch thumb screw that comes with the bracket. Now if you're using the black pearl monitor like I am, you may need to find some kind of spacer to keep the screw from going too far into the monitor and stripping out. After the FPV monitor is mounted, you can then make whatever adjustment that you need to get it positioned how you want it. Personally, I don't really put a lot of tilt in my monitor just because I like to hold my controller at a 45 degree angle, but that's just me. Now we can move on to actually configuring the FPV monitor and video transmitter. So first, make sure that the battery is actually in the monitor, then we can attach the two antennas and plug the power cord into the bottom charge port, not the top. Now that that's charging, let's take a look at the video transmitter for a minute. If you look closely at the bottom right, you'll see some switches hiding under the clear plastic casing. What you want to do is cut away the plastic and then use a small stick to change the switches into this order. Down, up, down, down. Changing the state of these switches will basically determine the frequency that the video transmitter transmits. So this pattern should represent channel 6. Next, hold the power button on the FPV monitor until it turns on, turn the Phantom 2 on, then use the button on the far right of the monitor to change the channel to 6. If everything is working properly, then you should see a black screen. Now all you have to do is just turn on the GoPro and you should see a live video feed. Now before I go, I should mention that the video signal that comes into the monitor is in a 4x3 aspect ratio, so everything will appear to be stretched horizontally. To get around this, press and hold the same far right button that was used to change the channel and that will stretch the video vertically from 4x3 to 16x9. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can completely remove video interference using a better method than the anti-interference board that DJI provides. But until then, this is Corey Smith with MyFirstDrone.com and I will see you in another video.